Okay. Let us sit comfortably. Sukhasana, Padmasana, Ardha Padmasana, whichever is comfortable for you. Roll your shoulders, make your spine erect. Palms open to the ceiling, eyes closed, and take long deep breaths. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly. Feel that every inhalation is energizing you. And every exhalation is relaxing you. Take one more long deep breath in. And breathe out slowly and completely. Now let us chant Om three times. Bring your fingers to Chin Mudra and breathe in for Om. Om. Oh, oh. Slowly join the palms together. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunetu Sahaviryam Karavavatai Tejasvina Vadita Mastumavi Vishavahai Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Slowly rub your palms. Pop it on your eyes. And looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Okay. So today we are working on our third chakra, that is the Manipura chakra. Okay. For Manipura Chakra, the organs associated with that are the stomach, mainly the stomach, then the liver, then all the digestive, whatever is there inside the stomach, the digestive system completely. So, if suppose we want to activate this, we also do should do a pranayama which can move this pothi, move this stomach. So, Kapalbhati is the right pranayama for this. We will do Kapalbhati and then we will do the asanas related to Manipura Chakra. Okay? So, the Manipura Chakra, where it is? It is on the, exactly on the navel center on your spine. And what does the center represent? Manipura Chakra, center of dash. Confidence, yes. Okay, center of confidence. And if suppose it is not balanced, what will happen? 
we'll feel in we'll feel being in tension all the time okay we lack confidence so to improve our confidence we work on our manipura chakra and of course when we work on our manipura chakra it also helps in um, relieving getting relieved of all the abdominal related issues also so let us do kapalbhati pranayama so in kapalbhati pranayama what we do is we pull your abdomen in and breathe out breathing out will be forceful pull your abdomen in for forcefully breathe out we start with a slow pace and start increasing it okay pull your abdomen in forcefully breathe out you concentrate only on the breathing out forceful breathing out only you will concentrate After a ten or twenty counts, you stop and take long deep breaths. Okay. When we are doing continuously, what happens is it puts a pressure on our heart. Also, it increases the heart pressure. So we need to stop and take long deep breaths in between. Okay. So after to count of twenty, stop and take long deep breaths. Take two to three long deep breaths. Then go for the second round. Twenty. Count yourself. Twenty. Then stop and take long deep breaths. then we will go for the next round we will do we will do little more number of counts and we will do it in a little more faster pace we will go up to a count of 30 and do it little more faster then stop and take long deep breaths now let us do one more round 30 little more faster it is said that we need to increase the number of counts in one second we should be able to do two breath out in one second two breath out that is the speed we need to adopt okay let us do 30 and faster then stop and take long deep breaths
So this therapy, this pranayama, kapalbhati pranayama, is a therapeutic pranayama for all the abdominal related issues, say PCOD, PCOS, and diabetes, and all the endocrine related issues which are resting in the abdomen. And it also works on our nervous system. How it works on our nervous system? Since we are doing fast breathing out, only we are concentrating on the breathing out and doing it in a fast pace. It, first thing, when we are doing fast breathing out, it removes the toxins away. Second thing, since we are doing fast breathing out, we are curtailing the energy or the oxygen supply to the brain. Once we are curtailing the oxygen supply to the brain, your heart or your the lungs will send signals to the brain telling that you breathe more oxygen, more oxygen. When you are doing that, what happens is the unused nerve channels get activated. That way, this works on our nervous system also. It works in cleansing up our nervous system. That is why this pranayama also is also called as skull shining pranayama. It is like this. If suppose we are going in a main road, if the main road is free, we keep going there. If suppose the main road is blocked, what happens is it, we are using the service road. We take the service road, right? Same way, we are ourselves are blocking the nervous system, the normal nervous system, nerve, nerve channel we are blocking by breathing out continuously, forcefully. So what happens, the nervous system will get signals telling that your oxygen supply is less, breathe more oxygen. So what happens, the unused nerve channels, whichever we never use, the nerve channels, whichever are not used, get activated in the process. That is why they, this cleanses up the nerves. Okay, so this works on our nervous system also. Okay, this is about Kapal Bhati Pranayama. Now let us start with our warm-up. Let us first sit in Virasana. So how to sit in Virasana? Just like Vajrasana, you will sit in Vajrasana. When you are sitting in Vajrasana, you are sitting on your heel. Okay, you are sitting on your heel in Vajrasana. Here what we do, you push your legs outward. You push your legs outward. Okay, push your legs outward. Then bring your knees together as much as you can. So the Virasana is one asana which is also good for um, activating our Manipura Chakra. Okay, putting our legs sideways outwards, seated in Virasana. So in sideways, your legs will be like this. You can have gap between the legs. Okay, now here in this pose, let us try to do Seated cow, cat and cow pose. We are going to arch our spine and breathe in and curve your spine, breathe out. Okay? You can also bring your hands behind, interlace your fingers like this. Okay? Arch your spine, breathe in. Curve your spine, breathe out. When you are curving your spine, bring your elbows forward and bring your chin to the collarbone. Okay? Yeah. Now, keeping your hands. Arch your spine, look up, breathe in, breathe out, elbows bring together, chin to the collarbone. Breathe in, arch your spine and breathe out, curve your spine. Breathe in, arch your spine and breathe out, curve your spine. Breathe in, arch your spine and breathe out, curve your spine. One more time. Breathe in, arch your spine, elbows out. Breathe out, elbows in, chin to the collarbone. Then come back to the center and release your hands. Now come to Vajrasana. Now bring your legs back and sit on your heels. Your toes will be touching. Okay, this is Vajrasana. You sit in Vajrasana, you sit on your heel, your toes will be touching. Okay? 
At the same time, to maintain comfort, you can take gap between the legs. Okay. So today we will do Yoga Mudrasana and Mandukasana. So what is Yoga Mudrasana? Taking your hand back and holding at the wrist, stretch your spine and then move forward down. So breathe in, come up and breathe out. Try to bring your forehead to the mat. Breathe in, come up and breathe out, forehead towards the mat. Breathe in, come up. Now, bring your one palm over the other. Bring your one palm over the other and keep it below your stomach. Keep it below your stomach. So we are going to do this. Same breathing in and breathing out now. Your hands will press your stomach. This is called as Mandukasana. So breathe in, straighten up your spine and breathe out. Keep moving forward and go as much as you can. Go as much as you can and stay there for a couple of seconds. And then slowly come up. This is called as Mandukasana. It is a therapeutic asana for diabetes mainly. Okay? Now, again, breathe in. Breathe out. Keep moving forward. Go as much as you can down. And stay there for a couple of seconds. Then slowly come up again. Let us do it one more time. Breathe in, straighten up your spine and breathe out. Keep moving down. Then slowly come up. Slowly come up. Now from here, let us go to table. From here, go to table. Okay? Yeah. Now, now what you are going to do is, you are going to bring your legs sideways. Yes. Then come up and then again go down like this. Sideways up and down. In front view, you are taking it sideways. Then bringing it down and up. We are giving a hip mobility. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Then come back to table. Do the same thing on the other side. Take it to the side. And bring your knee down and up. Knee down and up. Knee down and up. Why we do this hip mobility? We, when we do hip mobilization, our back pain also will reduce. That is why we concentrate more on the hip mobility also, up and down. Then come back to table. Now we will do shoulder stretch. How you are going to do shoulder stretch? You are going to bend your right hand. Right elbow, you are going to bring it to the left. Yeah. Then interlace your fingers. And look towards your left. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Stay here for a couple of seconds. And then slowly come back to table. Let us do the same thing on the other side. Left elbow, sorry, left elbow to the right side. Then interlace your fingers, both the elbows in one straight line and look towards your right. Stay here. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Then slowly come back to center. Now we will do the threading the needle. So you bring your right hand down and your right shoulder onto the ground. Then raise your left hand up or forward and stay here. Whichever is comfortable, do. Go forward or raise your hand up and stay here. Stay here for a couple of seconds. 
then slowly again come to table. Now let us do the same thing on the other side. Take your left hand, thread the needle through the right, and once your shoulder is on the ground, raise your right hand up, up or forward as per your comfort, and stay here. Stay here. Then slowly come back to table. Okay? Now, coming to table. From here, you're going to take your one leg back and the other leg back and come to plank. If plank is uncomfortable, you can drop your one leg anytime. Okay? Drop your one knee to the ground anytime. Now, come to plank. Then drop your forearm to the ground. Then again, take your four. Come to high plank. High plank, forearm plank. Let us do it three times. Forearm plank. Then come up to high plank. Forearm plank. Then come up to high plank. You can drop your one knee down if you want. Yes. Now go to Adho Mukha. In Adho Mukha also let us do the same. Drop your forearm to the ground, then come up. Drop your forearm to the ground, then come up. So when you are dropping your forearm to the ground and interlacing your fingers and bring your head to the ground, it is called as dolphin pose. It is called as dolphin pose. Now stay here in dolphin pose for a couple of seconds. Then again, slowly come to come to Adho Mukha and go to plank. Go to plank and slowly start walking your hands back. Walk your hands back. Come to Padahastasana position and again walk your hands forward. And go to plank. Then again, walk your hands back. Go to Father Hastasana position. This is called as inch warm walk. Like a warm, we are walking. Then again, go to plank. Then slowly walk again backwards. This time, slowly come up to standing position. Slowly come up to standing position. Yeah. Okay. Now, we suppose you are closer to the wall. We can do one wall stretch. Yeah. So, standing closer to the wall, keeping your hands onto the wall. Stretch your, stretch your hand up and your head down. This is for our shoulders. We are doing for our shoulders. Just try to do. Yeah, Priya, you have to just stay in L and raise your hand up. Inverted L and stay, raise your hand up. Okay? Stretch your hand up and stay here. This is a nice shoulder stretch. Yeah, super. Then slowly come back to the center. Now come close to the wall. Turn. Give little one foot gap, one hand gap and turn Turn your back to the wall. Now turn to, turn to the wall, press your hand, then twist to the other side, press to the wall. Twist to the left, press, and twist to the right, press. Twist to the left, press. Twist to the right, press. Twist to the left, press. Twist to the right, press. One more time, twist. Twist to the right, Twist to the left, twist to the right, twist to the left. Then come back to the center. Then come back to the center. Okay. Now, stretch your right hand 40 degrees. You're going to kick your right hand with the left leg. Kick. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back. How many of you touched your uh, hand? Kick it more to touch your hand. Stretch your left hand forward. Kick your right leg and touch your hand. Try one, two, super, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then come back to the center. Now stretch your right hand sideways. You're going to kick it sideways. Right hand, right leg. One, two, three, four, five. Now to the other side, left hand stretch, kick it with the left leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax. Relax. We will do Suri Namaste. Ready? We are warmed up enough. We'll do Suri Namaste. Let us come to the front leg of the mat. Bringing your palms together. Gratitude to the sun god. Om Surya Yanamaha. Breathe in, raise your hands up, arch your back. Breathe out, bend from your lower back to Padal Sakanam. Breathe in, right leg back, toes stretched. Breathe out, Hadumukha, downward dog. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to a stand. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adumukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samsthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, Hastavuttana. Breathe out to Padhastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adhokha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adhokha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasrottana. Come back to Samsthiti. Second round. Breathe in, raise up, Hasrottana. Breathe out, Padha Hasrottana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to Plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in right leg forward. Breathe out left leg forward. Breathe in raise up Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, Hatha Uttana. Breathe out, Padal Sasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adhokha. Breathe in to Plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adhokha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Next round. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out, Padha Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, to Plank. Breathe out, to Ashtang. Breathe in, to Bhujangasana. Breathe out, to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out, to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, to Plank. 
Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in left leg forward. Breathe out right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Next round. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out the Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Next round. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out, Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, to plank. Breathe out, to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Next round. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. Last round. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Breathe out, Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, Hasta Uttana. Come back to Samasthiti. And relax. Relax and normalize your breath. Super. Neelam, Bri and Priya, all the seven counts you are doing. 
good cope them are you feeling energetic the whole day feeling yeah super that's what yes suja no suja suja myself no we feel energetic throughout the day that's why we, we should be very regular here yeah so today we are working on manipura chakra so manipura chakra mostly we have to work on our abdominal region all the twisted asanas all the twisted asanas either it is standing twisting or seated twisting asanas work on our abdominal region and it works on our manipura chakra so we will do some standing asanas there we will do some twisting and then we will go to seated twisting and then we will go for relaxation okay so what is the main prominent um, uh, yoga uh, asana for this uh, chakra which is the most prominent or the very very important asana by default it will work on your manipura chakra what is that asana preeti posted everything in the group no one saw that i can understand right ha huh? manipura chakra asana suja uma man plank ah huh? plank yeah plank plank is one yeah in plank what happens we work little pressure on our shoulders also so there is one more which exactly works on our core bridge pose no bridge we 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 consciously give otherwise it will not work automatically works on our core one asana which works automatically on our core you don't need to plank is one thing definitely it works on our core there is one more asana which works on our core even if you don't put pressure automatically it will work what is that boat huh boat boat pose super now kasana boat pose boat pose works automatically on our core yeah okay first we will start with standing then we will come to seated in seated we will do boat okay till then let us come to the center of the mat or little forward and take your one leg back okay both the legs will be pointed to the right yeah then your body will be towards the camera now stretch your hands by the at the shoulder level then turn your torso towards the right turn your torso towards the right and bring your left hand to the right ankle bring your left hand to the right ankle the other hand up twisted triangle twisted triangle pose go as much as you can stay here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 then slowly come back to the center now turn your both the legs towards the left legs towards the left body forward straighten up your hands then twist your twist your body towards the left and then slowly bring your right hand to the left ankle left hand up both the hands will be in straight line and stay here stay here twist the triangle pose paridrita trikonasana stay here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 slowly come back to the center okay so little bit easier we will do turning your legs again to the right both the legs towards the right okay this time bring your hands in namaskara twisting 
you are twisting your body towards the right. Bend your right knee, just like how we do in warrior. Bend your right knee, then twist and bring your left elbow to the right knee. Modified version of Parshvakonasana. Yes, super. And stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come back to the center. Turn your legs towards the left. Bring your hands in Namaskara. Bend your left knee. Bend your left knee. Yes. Then twist and bring your right elbow over the left knee. Try to keep your both the elbows in one straight line. Pointed. Left elbow will be pointed towards the ceiling. And stay here. Stay here. Super. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come back to the center. Now we will do one more twisted chair pose. We will do the twisted chair pose. So bringing your legs together. Okay. Bring your hands in Namaskara. And push your hip back and try to come to chair pose. And then twist. Bring your left elbow over the right. Yes. Stay. Stay here. Twisted chair pose. Yes. Super. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come up to the center and twist to the other side. Squat. Twist to the other side. Left elbow over the right knee. Ha. Huh. Both the elbows in straight line. Yes. Super. 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 Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come up to the center. Yeah? Okay. Come up to the center. So the, all the twisting asanas, we can even in warrior, we can do twisting, uh, twisting to the other side and do all the twisting asanas will work on our Manipura Chakra. Now let us come to seated position. We will do seated twisting poses. Okay, we will do seated twisting poses. So let us sit, stretching our leg. So first spine should be straight, no curve in your spine, spine should be straight. Yeah, yes. Now bend your right leg, bend your right leg. Bring it closer to the left knee. Bring it a little closer. Now your right knee is up. Right knee is up. Take your right hand behind. Yes. Now push your right knee towards the left like this. Keep pushing it towards the left. And turn your torso and look towards your right. Vakrasana. If you are able to hold your left hand over the right ankle. And look towards the back and stay here. Vakrasana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Did your uh, did your thigh press your tummy? Yeah. Did your thigh press your tummy? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then slowly come back. Release your right leg. We need to twist in such a way that we are pressing our abdomen against the thigh. Okay? Do twisting as much as you can. Now bend your left leg. 
Your left knee is pointed upwards. Now take your left hand behind your back. Take your left hand behind your back and with the support of the right hand, pull your knee towards the right. Keep pushing your knee and you twist towards the left. Twist and stay here. Yes, super. Stay here. Super. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly release your hands. So next twisted pose is the Ardha Matsyendrasana, which we normally do. So here what we do, you bend your right leg, but if you cross it over to the other, cross it over, yes? Then slide your lower leg here. Slide your lower leg towards the right hip. Then take your right hand behind your back and keep pushing, pushing. Push your right knee towards the left and again hold your hand. Yes, twist and stay here. Twist and stay here. Super. One, two, three. Look back and stay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly release your left hand and stretch your legs forward. Let us do it the same thing on the other side. Bend your left leg. Then cross it over the right leg. Slide your lower leg to the left hip. Okay? Now take your left hand behind the back and keep pushing your left knee towards the right. Twist, you should, you should feel the press of your belly and thighs. And look back and stay. Look back and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly raise your hands up. Release your hands and stretch your legs forward. Okay? Now let us do one more twisting pose. Skipping your spine straight and raising your hands up. Twist your body, twist your body towards the right and bring your hands down like this. Okay? One hand will be closer towards the hip. The other hand will be little more forward. Then slowly keep coming down and bring your forehead towards the mat. Buddha Manasana, breathing the earth pose. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come up to the center. Now again, stretch your hand up, stretch your spine and twist your torso towards the left. Bring your hands down and forehead towards the mat and stay here. Guna Manasana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come up to the center. Stretch your hand up and release your hands. Okay? Yes. Next is the challenging pose. We are going to do board pose. We are going to do three variations of board pose. First, we will start with the easiest variation. Then we will do the toughest one. Okay? So, the easiest one is bringing your both the legs, bending your knee and lifting it. And bringing your hands, hold your shin or the ankle. Or if you are able to balance, stretch your hands and stay here. 
try to bring your lower legs parallel to the mat and stay here. This is little bit easier variation. Stay here. One, two, three. Automatically your core is getting engaged. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly drop your, drop your legs down. Next we will do a little bit tougher version. Yeah. Okay. Without bending the knees, you need to stretch your knees and bring your leg up. So, stretch your leg. Yes. And slowly lift it up straight. And hands towards it. Hands towards the toes. Automatically you are. Yes. Super. Try to stay here. Try to stay here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly release your leg and hand. This time we are going to do a perfect board. Leg forward, hand back. Okay. So in that also there are two variations. One is stretching your leg forward and stretching your hand back like this, 45 degrees. Or what we can do, you can lie down and lift your shoulders off the mat and stretch like this. So that you will get this much support. Set your hand up, shoulders off the mat and leg up to 45 degrees. Yeah, this will be slightly easier. Yeah, this is also a boat variation. Shoulders off the mat, hand up to 45 degree. Yes, super, Sujan. Yes. Yes, super. Yes, Th this is a little easier only. Okay, yes. Stay here. Stay here. Keep looking at your toes and stay here. One. Super. All are doing. Two. Three. Four. Super. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly release your hand, release your leg, and lie down. Okay. So there is one more which we can relax our relax our uh, legs and put pressure on the stomach. That is keeping our legs raised to ninety degrees. We will try it, okay? If suppose you are not able to do with both the legs, one leg bent and you can raise the other leg up, okay? Yeah. So keeping your head down, your total body will be on the floor. Your palm also will be on the floor. You will raise your both the legs up to 90 and stay here. This also works on our core. Automatically your core will be engaged here also. Yeah. Yes, but your legs will be relaxed here. Just stay here. This is also one good pose to relax your relax your legs, relax your pelvic area. Just stay here. If you are not able to, you can drop your one leg down and the other leg up and stay here. Just stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now slowly bring your both the legs down. Without bending the knees, try to bring it down. Without bending the knees, try to bring it down. See how your core is working. Now relax. 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 So everyone did it so nicely. Relax. Now slowly relax. Relax. Relax and take few long deep breaths. We'll do the closing sequence and then we will go for complete relaxation. So bending your legs, 
holding it closer to your sphere? Tell me. Pavana Muktasana. This is also one good pose which helps in relieving our digestive issues. This is also called a been releasing pose. Pavana Muktasana. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Then slowly raise your shoulders and do the rocking and rocking up and down. When you are doing the rocking up and down, remember to keep your forehead towards the knee. Always. Always your forehead is towards the knee. So that you will not hurt your back. Okay? Like a ball you come up and down. Like a ball you come up and down. And then go towards the left, center, go towards the right, center, go towards the left, center, right, center. And stretch your legs down, stretch your hands by the side of the body. Now bend your right leg, keep it over your left thigh, push your right knee towards the left and look towards your right palm. Spinal twisting pose, universal spinal twist, Udara Karshasana. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then come back to the center and release your right leg. Bend your left leg, keep it over your right thigh. Push your left knee towards the right and look towards your left palm. Stay here. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then come back to the center and stretch your legs down and lie down in Shavasana. We will do a quick relaxation technique and then we will lie down. Okay? So take a deep breath in and hold the breath. Hold the breath. Raise your hands a little, leg a little, head a little and keep holding the breath. Hold the breath. Leg a little, head a little. Keep holding the breath. Hold, 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 hold. Hold as much as you can. Hold, hold, hold the breath as much as you can. Hold, hold, hold. And once you're not able to hold, release your hands, release your legs, and release your head. Let us do it one more time. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath. Make a fist with your hand. Raise your hand a little, leg a little, head a little. Hold, hold the breath, hold the breath. Hold, 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 hold. Hold as much as you can. Hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath. And slowly relax your legs, relax your head. And now completely relax. Completely relax. Visualize your body lying on the floor. Become aware of your breathing. As you breathe in, know that you're breathing in. And as you breathe out, know that you're breathing out. Now mentally take a sankalpa, say it. I want dash, whatever your wishes, Say it mentally and repeat it three times. Now we relax and let our Awareness through the different parts of our body. Observe the sensations in different parts of the body. Keep observing the sensations. 
and let us start the process of scanning. Become aware of your right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the little finger, right arm, right elbow, right shoulder, right armpit, right side of your waist, right buttock, right thigh, right knee, right calf, right ankle, right heel, right sole, top of the right foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the little toe. Now to the left side, left hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the little finger, left arm, left elbow, left shoulder, left armpit, left side of the waist, left buttock, left thigh, left knee, left calf, left ankle, left heel, left sole, top of the left foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the little toe. Relax your complete body. Observe the back of the body, right buttock, left buttock, both the buttocks together, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, both the shoulder blades together, the spine from the top to the bottom, back of the head, top of the head, eyebrows, eyebrow center, eyes, ears, cheek, lip, chin, jaw, collarbone, chest, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, middle of the chest, the whole abdomen, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, relax your complete body. Now let us come to visualization. Let us try to visualize the objects to the best of the ability. Buddha in meditation. A banyan tree. A car moving on the road. The car is red in color. A racing horse. Rising sun behind the mountain. A big pond with the lotus in the middle. White lotus. Waves on a deserted beach. Hear the pounding of the waves and visualize a calm sea. Calm deep sea. Feel the calmness at the hidden power within the sea. This is like your mind. Calm and powerful, very powerful. Now recall the wish you made at the beginning of the practice and repeat it three times. Now relax all your efforts and stay there in stillness and silence for a few more seconds.
Now slowly becoming aware of your surroundings. Start making movements. Start wiggling your toes, wiggle your fingers. Stretch your legs, stretch it, bring your legs together, toes out. Bring your hands above your head, stretch your hand nicely and then slowly turn towards your right side. And with the support of the left hand, slowly sit up. Slowly sit up. In this calm state of mind, let us pray and bless this whole world, bringing your palms together. Sarvi Bhavan Tu Sukhinaha Sarvi Santu Niramaya Sarvi Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashidu Kabak Bhave Om Shanti 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 Slowly rub your palms, generate heat. Cup them on your eyes and feel, feel the warmth, feel the energy. Now slowly looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Hope you enjoyed.